Hi, this is Nolan from Benchmark, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Kogo Traverse tool to create a new point halfway between two points. So to begin here, I've just got a generic file open at Field Genius, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to head to the bottom left corner and select the Plumb Bob icon. And once I do that, it's going to bring up my menu, and I'm going to want to choose Calculations, and then from my Calculations menu here, I'm going to want to choose Traverse slash Intersection. And once I do that, that's going to bring me to my Kogo Traverse screen here. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to choose a starting point from which to do my calculations. So in this case, I'm just going to show you two different methods to make an intersection line. Um, and the first of which, I'm going to go from point 13 to point 16. So I'm going to need to choose my starting point. So in order to choose my starting point, I've got my point box here that's highlighted in the bottom left corner. And I'm just going to type in 13, and that's going to choose my new starting point. And now once that I have my starting point selected, you can see that it's now highlighted red. And I'm going to need to choose a direction through which I'm setting this intersection. So in this case, I'm going to go from point 13 to point 16. And I want a line that intersects both of those points starting from point 13. So in order to do that, I'm going to go into this direction box here, which is to the right of the point box. And I'm going to type 13 dot dot 16. And when I do that, you can now see that Microsurveys Field Genius has automatically computed a line that intersects point 13 and point 16. The only issue, however, is that I don't have a distance specified. So what I'm going to want to do now is specify my distance from exactly point 13 to point 16. So to do that, I'm going to, again, in my distance box here, type 13 dot dot 16. And when I do that, you can now see that red arrow Instead of going off the screen into somewhere where I can't see, it is now exactly from point 13 to point 16 and gives me the distance between those two points. So the method I just showed you um, on how to choose your points and limit your distance isn't the easiest in my opinion. So I'm going to show you another method to do this, but this time I'm going to use point 14 and point 15. So I'm going to change my starting point here from 13 to 14. And you can see that my line automatically swaps over because I've already set my direction and distance but I'm going to set my direction again to show you an easier method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight my direction that I have right now. And when I do that, I'm going to double click it, and that's going to bring up my menu with keypad entry and inverse tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the inverse tool because all I'm doing when I'm selecting my direction and distance here is really inversing between the two points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my starting point 14 and my end point 15, and you can see again now, I have that same arrow along that same axis, but I've just selected it in an easier manner. So once I've selected my two points there, I'm gonna hit close. And then I'm going to, again, show you that you can do the same thing with the distance. So again, if I highlight my distance, double click, hit inverse tool, I'm gonna to select my starting point at 14 and my end point at 15. And you can see I've got a, different, a slightly different distance now, um, but still the same line. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to put a point exactly halfway between these two points. So in order to place my point exactly halfway between here, I'm going to highlight my distance again and just double click. And now I'm going to the keypad entry this time instead of the inverse tool. And when I click that, I'm going to get this screen where I can type in numbers. And what I'm going to want to do is next to the space bar and comma there, there's the calc button. And I'm going to click that. That's going to bring up my calculator within Microsurveys Field Genius here. As you can see, my distance has been automatically brought into the calculator. And as I want to place a point exactly halfway between the two points that I've created, I'm going to have to divide this distance by two. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit two and then divided, and that'll divide this distance by two. And if I do that, you can see that I've automatically got my new number out. And then I'm just going to hit OK. That's going to return me to my screen. And you can now see my distance is now that halfway in between. And if we look at the map screen, there it is. I got that green dot exactly halfway between points 14 and 15. So once my solution's calculated, I'm gonna hit store solution point, and that's gonna bring up my store point screen. And as you can see, I'm creating a new point on this point exactly halfway between my two points that I had selected there. And I'm just gonna hit store point. And if we go back to the map screen, you can now see that I have a new point exactly halfway between point 14 and point 15, point 34 there. And that's all for today's video. If you have any questions about anything you've seen in today's video or anything you've seen on our YouTube channel, please give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit us on the web at bench-mark.ca.